awesome oil palm harvesting, modern agricultural technology, palm oil making process. If you look around, you'll realize that today, palm oil is the most consumed vegetable oil in the world. To many of you, this might be shocking to hear that many consumers do not purchase it directly. Let's have a look at how it's made and where it comes from. It's native of the west coast of Africa, where the most generated palm oil variety is the Elasis Guenesis Jack. This form is also known as the African palm. Nowadays, this is so highly in demand that now it's being planted and cultivated in many tropical countries around the world to cover up this demand. When a palm tree approaches your place, make sure you're going to cultivate this tree. You should be aware of its kind. Some of their types grow tall. Some of them have shoulder length. Different species require different sun exposure. Anyhow, dig a little deep in the ground. Experts add a six inch layer of sand and then add another native soil with one part of garden soil for palm cactus and citrus. This formula is specifically designed for the complete nutrition and growth purpose of the palm. Cactus and citrus will feed your palm for up to three months. Keep it well moisturized, but not saturated. This plant needs an ample supply of iron, magnesium, and manganese to keep its fronds from turning yellow. It's an interesting fact that it has a monoecious reproductive cycle that grows indifferent. But anyhow, it's an overlay cycle. Currently, the experts are using more advanced vegetation propagation techniques, which help in fast growing these palm trees. When we talk about its harvesting, it's sure that there's not a single fruit as wasted as it seems. When they begin to harvest, they do it in pairs. One harvests the fruit from the tree, and the other one collects what is scattered on the ground. Trucks launched all the dump bunches to the containers to move towards the sterilizer stations for a little steam clean. Its smell is hard to bear, too much fermented and sweet. The rest of the job does a threshing machine, separating the parts of fruit bunches. Even the leftovers not going to waste, but their fiber and shells are used in powering the mills as well as electricity is also required to run those mills. The dumped bunches are used as an organic fertilizer and the fruit part is taken to the press part for squishing its juice out to make the oil. There, they're produced two types of oils. One is known as CPO or crude palm oil, which is prepared from fruit pulp. It is edible. You can add them to biscuits, noodles, bread, and many other foods as well. The other one is called PKO, or palm kernel oil, made up of fruit seeds and used in cosmetics and shampoos, etc. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. After that procedure, crude palm oil is transferred to the bulking station, where it's pumped into trucks, held on a waiting time procedure to maintain its form, and then finally it's ready to go to the refinery. It's the place where palm oil is weighted, refined, bleached, and deodorized. Meanwhile, the control room monitors the staff and workers and manages the refinery process. After that process, refined oil was again loaded back into the truck containers. It's ready now to go to the trade market and to those buyers who will turn that oil into food, cosmetics, and biodiesels. It's an example of only one factory. Imagine this whole procedure worldwide. How many factories are in running positions and how many workers are running their homes just because of this one fruit? Collecting and harvesting are one of the hardest jobs to do, but our experts also have revolutionized this field by introducing us to the method of papero. It's a process in which a kind of basket thing is placed under every tree. All fruit that was scattered down on the ground now falls into that basket. It's easy to pick them up. And the most beneficial thing is the time-saving quality of this. In this procedure, there's no requirement to clean the plates. But it's very important to reduce the weight of papero, as its current weight is approximately 3.5 kilograms. And yes, definitely this weight is too much to control it. It would become more uncomfortable in managing when working long periods of harvest. 
When we recall the previous procedure, we realized it took a long time to clean all the fruit in the steaming and washing procedure, and it was such a headache job to do. It was expected that the use of Papero implementation fruits will fall into it, and it will save time as well. Thus, it did a good job in this regard. It reduced the harvest time by approximately 48%. The modified procedure of harvesting makes us unable to improve the efficiency of making changes to its structure and its uses. Harvesting loose fruits takes a very long time to pick them up. We can use modern ways of planting, cultivating, and harvesting oil palm trees. In this way, we can save both our energy and time. This will increase the efficiency of the process and reduce the cost of palm oil. And we'll be able to achieve additional benefits that this includes. Experts have brought an incredible revolution in the field of farming and cultivation. This is such hard work and constant struggle behind the scene that no one has ever considered it. How do you find the facts? Aren't they interesting? How the modern ways save our time and make it much easy for us. <laughs>